Our world is a truly wondrous place, full of all kinds of creatures, great and small. But underneath all these lies another world, one of the unexplained. Legends and folk tales tell us all about mythical creatures that shouldn't exist, but have somehow been spotted, heck even filmed at some points. Today we're going to look at some of these creatures, as well as some of them that were even caught on footage that some are saying to be irrefutable proof of their existence. You better wait for number one on our list as it is. If they do exist, they're going to terrify you. Number 10. Bigfoot. The legends of Bigfoot go back beyond recorded history and cover the world. In North America, and particularly in the Northwest, you can hear tales of seven-foot-tall hairy men stalking the woods, occasionally scaring campers, lumberjacks, hikers, and the like. North American settlers started reporting sightings during the late 1800s and into the 1900s with the occasional finding of footprints, sporadic encounters, and even a few grainy photos and videos adding to the mystery. Those who claim to have seen Bigfoot have described everything from a large upright ape to an actual hairy human, sometimes standing over eight feet tall and described as powerfully built. The debate and research continue. Entire organizations exist to study and document Bigfoot and prove its existence and groups regularly search the Northwest woods, looking for that ultimate proof. The clip that you're about to see is just one of the many documented sightings of an alleged Bigfoot. It was taken by the dash camera of a police cruiser, giving more credibility to the sighting. The footage shows a tall, dark figure crossing the street as the police cruiser was driving by. The officer gave chase but didn't see the creature again. Could this be proof that Bigfoot does actually exist? Hey, what do you think? Number 9. The Yeti. The Yeti, once better known as the Abominable Snowman, is a mysterious bipedal creature said to live in the mountains of Asia. It sometimes leaves tracks in snow, but is also said to dwell below the Himalayan snow line. Despite dozens upon dozens of expeditions into the remote mountains of Russia and China and Nepal, the existence of the Yeti remains unproven. The Yeti is said to be muscular, covered with dark grayish or reddish brown hair, and weigh between 200 and 400 pounds. It is relatively short compared to North America's Bigfoot, averaging about 6 feet in height. Though this is the most common form, reported Yetis have come in a variety of shapes and sizes. In modern times, when Westerners started traveling to the Himalayas, the myth became more sensational, at least according to the BBC. In 1921, a journalist named Henry Newman interviewed a group of British explorers who had just returned from a Mount Everest expedition. The explorers told the journalists they had discovered some very large footprints on the mountain to which their guides had attributed to Metokongmi, essentially meaning Man Bear Snowman. Newman got the snowman part right, but mistranslated Meto as filthy. They seem to think Abominable sounded even better, and used this more menacing name in the paper. Thus, a legend was born. Number 8. The Jersey Devil The story of the Jersey Devil is an authentic folk legend. It is as varied as the number of people who claim to have seen or heard him. For over 250 years, tales have circulated about the nocturnal ramblings of a creature emerging from the midst of a lonely, desolate marsh. As interest in the supernatural has grown, tales of the Jersey Devil have grown to blend folk belief with South Jersey history. One of the most famous stories tells of a place called Leeds Point. On a stormy night in 1735, a Quaker woman gave birth to a child during a thunderstorm. The room flickered with candlelight. The wind howled. Some believed her to be a sorceress. The impoverished woman known as Mother Leeds was believed to have many other children, as many as 12 even. Some say the child was born deformed. Some say she cursed the child because of her dire straits. Other accounts say the child was born normal and took on an odd characteristic later. Characteristics such as an elongated body, wing shoulders, a large horse-like head, cloven feet, and a thick tail. According to legend, the child was confined until it made its escape either out of the cellar door or up the chimney. Either way, the Jersey Devil had been born. The photo that you're looking at is allegedly that of the Jersey Devil. What do you think, though? Number 7. Mothman In November 12, 1966, in Clendenin, West Virginia, a grave digger working in a cemetery spotted something strange. He glanced up from his work when something huge soared over his head, a massive figure that was moving rapidly across the cemetery from tree to tree. Later, he described the figure that he saw as a brown human being. This was the first reported sighting of what would come to be known as the Mothman of Point Pleasant, an elusive creature that, although now widely celebrated by the town it once terrorized, remains as mysterious as it was on the night that a few frightened witnesses first laid eyes on it. 
Just three days after the gravedigger's initial report in nearby Point Pleasant, West Virginia, two couples noticed a gray-winged creature about six or seven feet tall standing in front of the car they were all seated in. Nowadays, however, it seems that Mothman has left the confines of its town of origin and explores a wider area, if the next photo that you're about to see is to be believed at least. According to the poster, he was on his parents' yard with his friend when they noticed a dark figure high up in the tallest tree. It had glowing red eyes, and as he took out his phone to take a photo, the creature swooped down and narrowly missed his friend, who luckily was able to duck just under the nick of time. Whether you believe Mothman to be real or not, you can't deny that he is a very influential cryptid. I mean, he's in Fallout 76 for Pete's sake. Not a great game, but hey, he's in it. Number 6. The Bunyip Aberjean Jews have tell tales of a creature that sucked the water and ate people, mainly young kids. And no, it's not Pennywise the Dancing Clown this time. Many of the modern sightings that have come from Australian people come in a wide variety of descriptions. Scaly, furry, big, small, skinny, beefy, and so on. The Bunyip, also known as the Cayenne Prati, is a creature of Aboriginal mythology. It lives in swamps, billabongs, creeks, riverbeds, and waterholes all over Australia. Bunyip in the Wemba Wemba language means devil or evil spirit. The Bunyip is usually described as having characteristics of both a bird and an alligator. It has a head resembling an emu, while its body and legs partake of the nature of the alligator. The hind legs are remarkably thick and strong, and the forelegs are much longer, but still of great strength. However, people do say its usual method of killing its prey is by hugging it to death. When in the water, it swims like a frog, and when on the shore, it walks on its hind legs with its head erect, in which position it measures 12 or 13 feet in height. This short video clip claims to be that of a real bunyip that was caught in Australia. The video is so grainy and low res that it's very difficult to see what actually is in the cage, much less make a clear identification. But believers all claim that this is actual proof of the bunyip. But what do you think? Number 5. The Chupacabra Few legends' validities have been as vehemently insisted upon as that of the Chupacabra, famed enemy of livestock all across the Americas. Particularly, goats, for whom its bloodlust gave it its name. A blood-sucking creature, usually the size of a small bear, sometimes with a tail always covered in scaly skin. And a row of spines down its back. The chupacabra has been a staple in Puerto Rican folklore for decades, since the first goat was found drained of its blood, of course. While the explanation for the goat's death could have been anything, there were those who wondered if the chupacabra had at last crawled out of the pages of folklore and onto their island. The footage that you're about to see is probably the most famous alleged chupacabra video on the internet, and it shows a small, dog-like creature being chased by a car. Number 4. The Thames River Monster The Thames River Monster is a giant serpent-like creature sighted in Greenwich near the O2 Arena. It has been speculated to be at the lengths of 30 to 170 feet. Many of the local people have compared this creature to the Loch Ness Monster, while experts theorize it could be a species of Atlantic whale. This whale is known to travel up the Thames for feeding in the spring or early summer. Mysterious footage has emerged on YouTube showing a large object making its way through the murky waters near the O2 Arena. It can be seen surfacing briefly before sinking back down. The video was taken by Penn Plate as he was traveling down on the Emirates Airline, a cable car journey near Greenwich that offers views of the capital. So, do you think that the video is real or just an elaborate hoax? Number 3. Windigo As the tale goes, the Windigo was once a lost hunter. During a brutally cold winter, this man's intense hunger drove him to cannibalism. After feasting on another human's flesh, he transformed into a crazed man-beast, roaming the forest in search of more people to eat. For being such an insatiable predator, the Wendigo is definitely not the largest or most muscular beast out there. Though he is said to be almost 15 feet tall, his body is often described as emaciated. Perhaps this can be attributed to the notion that he is never satisfied with his cannibalistic urges. Obsessed with hunting for new victims, he is forever hungry until he is eating another person. The video that you're about to see was taken by a couple of teenagers back over in 2013, and is reported to be a credible sighting of a Wendigo. The two were exploring an old abandoned house when they suddenly heard noises. They started to look for the source of the noise, but when they saw a humanoid as they entered the doorway, the video suddenly stops. Is this a real Wendigo sighting, or just a really good fake? Now it's time for the day's best pick. 
This time we'll be talking about a rare sighting of what could be just the most talked about mythical creature in the world. Number 2. Mermaids. With most of our blue planet covered by water, it's little wonder that centuries ago the oceans were believed to hide mysterious creatures including sea serpents and mermaids. Merfolk, or the collective term for mermaids and mermen, are of course the marine version of half-human, half-animal legends that have captured human imagination for ages. One source, the Arabian Nights, described mermaids as having moon faces and hair like a woman's, but their hands and feet were in their bellies and they had tails like fishes. The footage that you're about to see right now has been circulating around the internet for quite a few years now, but nobody has ever been able to disprove it to this day. According to what we've gathered online, this short clip was shot at a local beach in Israel by some locals just there on a day trip. As they filmed down a cliff, they saw something sitting on a rock that quite startled them. The footage is quite grainy and shaky, but the shape of a humanoid with a fish's tail can be seen clearly sitting on the rocks. As soon as the creature discovered that it was being filmed though, it quickly dived into the rough, muddy waters, never to be seen again. Is this footage real or fake? Well, let us know in the comments below. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Werewolves A werewolf in folklore and mythology is a person who shapeshifts into a wolf, either purposely by using magic or after being placed under a curse. The medieval chronicler Gervais of Tilbury associated the transformation with the appearance of the full moon, but this concept was rarely associated with the werewolf until the idea was picked up by modern fiction writers. Most modern references agree that a werewolf can be killed if shot by a silver bullet, although this is more a reflection of fiction's influence than an authentic feature of the folk's legends. A werewolf allegedly can be killed by complete destruction of heart or brain. Silver isn't necessary. The photo you're seeing right now was allegedly taken in Argentina, where there have been reports of dogs being killed. Is this the photo of a werewolf? What do you think? Alright everybody, which creatures do you believe exist? Or do you think it's possible for all of them to be real? Let us know in the comment section below. Want to watch more videos on other mysterious creatures? Click on any of the videos you see on the screen. As always everybody, thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.